You know, I've always ridden bicycles. From the minute I learned how to ride a bicycle, I've actually just loved it. I used to run quite a bit. I was actually in track and cross country. But later in my life, I realized that cycling was just a lot more enjoyable to me. And then I really got into it when I got into some of these organized events like you know, Ride the Rockies and Bicycle Tour Colorado and some of the big ones here in Colorado. Doing the Ride the Rockies and those kind of rides is actually like a tour. So you're touring, touring through the Rockies, you're going about 500 miles in a week. And after I did that event, it was a full week of riding, I thought, this is amazing. A lot of it's competing with yourself, of course, but when you get into these big long rides, can't help but uh, be competitive and get out there and just do your best and you can do 20 times more than you think you can do they say right so the biking has given me a whole new perspective on how I view my real estate business because it takes so much consistency and training and in real estate I've learned you know, in order to say the right things and do the right things for the clients you have to have a lot of practice what bicycling has done is given me a perspective of being consistent and being passionate about helping that client. Yeah, the, the best example I can think of is, you know, like when you're trying to go over a pass, like on a road bike, or if you're trying to, to get over the big uh, Leadville uh, 10,000 feet up to 13,000 feet on a bike, on a mountain bike. That relates so much, like trying to get through inspection processes and through the appraisal, some of the big hurdles that you have in real estate, and it gives you that confidence that you can do it. You just have to stick with it and you have to push through it. Once you've done it and you've done hard things, selling real estate actually doesn't seem that difficult. <laughs> actually, harder to, harder to get through some of these, these mountain trails. And then when you get back in town and you're, you're helping people with clients, it's like, yeah, we can do this. And so you have the calm, you have the, the confidence to help people get through that. And that's the confidence that they want. I think Urban Company's brand is most known as a boutique company. We're known in the community, but we're not known in the world or the nation. We give high quality product and service as opposed to high volume. We're working so hard to build a relationship with each person, one client at a time, that they end up coming back to us. And even before the transaction's done, a lot of times we get a referral. When we get a referral, they're like a hot potato. We wanna do the best. We wanna do the best for them because we want to keep that, that enthusiasm alive. Yeah, I think that when people hear what we have done for somebody else, that the company doesn't even matter anymore. It's all about who they're working with. They're going to get the service that they deserve and the care that they deserve. You know, we want them to be a part of our community. And when they become a part of the, they're like family. That's what, another reason why we're called Your Family Realtor, that they're part of our family, the Urban Company family. Well, when COVID hit, it was a big transition for us. And fortunately, we came together as an office and we strategized on how we're gonna work with clients. And at the very beginning of COVID, we had to learn to sell a house without even showing a house for a while. But we also just changed all together as a company. Like we went from working 90% at the office to about maybe 10% at the office. And as an agent that's out in the field, it's like, come and meet it at my home. It's very inviting and it's a nice place to meet. Uh, we typically do a lot of stuff in the office, a lot behind the scenes. A lot of people don't see what we're doing. It's like the duck on the pond, right? and they look like they're calm and they're moving around and they're smiling around the pond, but their feet, their little paddles are just like going like a million miles an hour underneath. That's kind of what our office is like. What the customer does see is the calm. 
I think my drive and my passion for real estate is actually the people, you know, helping the people. There's nothing better than helping somebody find their actual residence, where they're going to live. You're talking about their home where they're going to raise their kids. You know, it's a house is like, it's where the heart lies. It's where people celebrate family events, Thanksgiving, Christmas, those kind of things. So my purpose is to create the best client experience that you can possibly receive. And if we do that, then you become a part of the urban family. And that's really what it's all about, is that if you receive the best experience possible during that process of buying and selling a home, then we've succeeded and you've succeeded. And that's really what it's all about.